this is lesson number eight of how to do a difficult Ken Ken, nine by nine squares with no operation signs. Let's go for some immediately low hanging fruit. We're aware that the three, five, six, and sevens must be used in this area right here. Right? And the eight and nine must be used here. And the four and the two must be used here. Um, well, <laughs> that's not quite true. It could be a 4, a 2, or a 1, but either way, if this is a 4, this will be a 2. If this is a 2, this will be a 1 or a 4. And if this is a 4, this will be a 2. That means no matter what, a 2 is going to be used here. So the only digits that are not definitely used are 1 and 4. So the only possibilities for this remaining empty square are 1 and 4. Because one of these will be a two, and we don't know which one yet. That was pretty easy. And um, now we're going to attack the number fives over here. This uh, cell of five, the cage of five, and this cage of five. And both are going to be very similar. We know that we can't have a three, nine, seven, or a five here. So what can we have? We can have a one, a two, a four, possibly. Out of five, could be a six, could be a seven, could be an eight. Okay, and the same thing over here. One, two, four, six, and eight. We also know that uh, in this group over here, what's uh, what's possible? Okay, we can't have a five or a seven because of these two over here. And we can't have, and because of this five over here. And we can't have a one. So we could have a two, conceivably three, four, no five. Oops. That's a four, we'll straighten that out later. Six, can't be a seven, could conceivably be an eight, and could conceivably be a nine. So let's see, is there any way, let, let's do a check on these. If this is a 2, is there anything over here that would help it make this become a 5? Well, if there was a 7, we could subtract the 2 and make it a 5. If there was a 3 over here, we could add it to the 2 and make a 5, but there are neither. So that means we're immediately going to have to cancel out this too because there's nothing it can combine with to make a five. Let's check out this three. Is there anything we could combine this three with? Well, we could combine this three with this eight, right? The eight minus the three would give us a five. So three will work. This is a four. The four would work adding one to it. Six would work subtracting one from it. The eight here, would this work? now because you'd have to subtract a 3 from it and there is no 3 in this case in this cell so we can get rid of this 8 right away and this 9 we could subtract this 4 uh, from this 9 and get a 5 so the 9 can still live let's check these uh, this cell 1 and 4 work as we've noted 2 and 3 could work as we've noted 4 would work with the 9 will 6 work with anything no there's no um, there's no 5 here, right? Uh, I'm sorry, there's no 1 here. Uh, so there's nothing that we can do with this 6. And there is a 3 here. So, okay, that could work. Okay, the 8 minus this 3. That could work. Um, so we've gotten rid of quite a bit. Uh, actually, this 4, yeah, this can work with this 1 over here. Um, let's see where we can go from here. Let's take a short break. And we'll, oh yeah, but before we do, we'll get back to this. But um, right now, I, I want to just do one more quick thing. And that is, now nah, let's not. Let's stick with what we've got. Uh, let's not confuse you. Let's go on to the next lesson and the next one. Um, and we'll be working with this area right here. This, this five and this five. We're trying to clean up this row see what we can get.